Shinkai University. The title is Japanese Omotenashi. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tanya Niyatapanku. I'm Kimi Ogasawara. I'm Aya Sasaki. We are students from Meika University. So, as everybody was talking about food, we are going to change the topic. We're going to talk about omotenashi. First, I would, I would go what, with our outline and then describe what omotenashi is. To start with, we'll describe what omotenashi is, then acts of omotenashi and transportation, ryokans and restaurants. Let me ask a question first. Can someone define what omotenashi is? Yeah. It is related to tea ceremony. Yeah, thank you very much. Anybody else? Okay, as expected, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, so we, we asked the same question from our fellow batchmates and we got that Omadhanashi is a kind of service. I'm sure you are impressed with the service and the tea ceremonies. That's why you mentioned Omadhanashi with related to the tea ceremony or sadhu. So, we thought of differentiating what service and omotenashi is. With reference to the slide, as you all can see, service is what you are paid or asked to do, while omotenashi is a warm welcome but should never intentionally remind the customers of hospitality. Moreover, I'll make it simple, I would just say omotenashi is adding value to a normal service. It's more like wholeheartedly greeting, service, uh, providing service to people. So, to follow up, we'll go with acts of omotenashi from here onwards. To continue, Kimi, please. Thank you, Tarani. Okay, I'm going to talk about omotenashi on transportation fare. First one is about taxi. Japanese taxi have automatic door system. In the past, the Japanese taxi industry had door service that the driver get off the taxi and open the door for the passengers by hand. However, a lot of accident occurred. Along with that, the considering of safety for both passenger and driver, the taxi industry introduced automatic door system in Tokyo Olympic of 1964. So, during the Tokyo Olympic, the concept of using this automatic door system was expressing Japanese way of omotenashi for all foreigners who are visiting in Japan for Tokyo Olympic. Okay. In addition, the Japanese taxi driver wear white gloves. This is because not only to prevent the accident caused by sweat, but also to show the cleanliness of the interior of the car and driver itself. It is Japanese homotenashi mind. Okay. Next one is about train. If the train you take is late, you will be able to hear the apology announcement in the train. The staff of a train industry always apologizes for delay of even one minute. Even one minute. Can you imagine? It's so awesome. So, okay, so the passenger who take delay train can get the pass, small pass as an evidence of delay of train. So this photo is exactly that pass. This is really good for the passenger. It's so helpful. And this is one of the representation of Japanese omotenashi on transportation fare. Okay, uh, so next, Aya will talk about omotenashi on yokan and restaurant. Thank you, Kimi. So moving on, I would like to talk about Japanese style hotels, or we call it ryokan. So ryok, has anyone here ever tried staying in a ryokan? Good. 
So ryokan is one of many Japanese, uh, one of many symbols of omotenashi in Japan. So ryokan are usually ran by the whole family, and they take hands-on care for their guests. So in ryokan, upon check-in or upon arriving in a ryokan, you already immediately feel the warm welcome, and you feel like you're just like at home. So when you check in, you will be assigned a personal room attendant that will be guiding you all throughout your stay. They are in charge of serving you Japanese style green tea, Japanese sweets, and even your Japanese style dinner. So when you check in in a ryokan, there's usually an included meal, which is called a kaiseki style dinner. So I will show you what a kaiseki style dinner show up looks like later. So another thing famous about ryokans is Japanese hot spring or onsen. This is what the personal room attendant looks like. This is what the onsen or Japanese hot spring looks like. And this is what I was talking about, the Japanese style kaiseki, kaiseki dinner made just for you. So we move on now to Oshibori. During your lunch a while ago, have you seen Oshibori? Yeah? Okay, that's good. So, Oshibori is a neatly rolled wet towel that can be warm or cool depending on what season or weather it is. So, during the summer season, it's, they usually serve a cold Oshibori and during the winter season, they usually serve hot Oshibori. And there's this thing called Instant Oshibori where you can find in convenience stores or cafes or Sometimes even restaurants or izakayas, they serve it to you as a sign of uh, for your hygiene, for you to clean your hands before you eat. So, Tarani? And guess what? Oshibori is free of charge. That's the best part of it. So, to conclude, to conclude, I think you all understood what omatanashi is and service and the relationship between omatanashi and sado, the tea ceremony. Hope you all got it. <laughs> so thank you for your attention throughout the presentation.